The Swiss researchers who concluded that Yasser Arafat was poisoned are standing by their findings. On Tuesday, a French research team revealed that they had decided the former Palestinian leader died of natural causes. They measured high levels of polonium in Arafat's bones, but said it came from the element radon present in the air in the tomb. The Swiss team say they had ruled that theory out. So I'm a little surprised at this explanation, because I want to remind you that Mr. Arafat was hospitalized for two weeks in Paris. The best experts were on his case, and no cause was established. And notably, the theory of infection was easily rejected. No fever, no affected area, all microbiological tests came back negative. It seems strange to me because the moment you rule that a death was of natural causes, that means you have a precise diagnosis. The appearance of such an advanced diagnostic seems debatable to me. Let's go live to Lausanne where the other Swiss scientists who led this study standing by, that's Francois Bouchard. How could the French have reached such a different conclusion to you? Well, first of all, uh, I was really happy to see the results of the France, of the French, because they have about the same values as those that we have. So that means they also found elevated values of polonium and lead to ten. So this was a good confirmation for us. But the difference is regarding the explanation of these high levels. And for us, radon could be ruled out because actually we did measure radon in the tomb before opening it, and the values that we found was about the same as what we, we could find in any kind of tomb. Actually, it was a bit lower than what we could expect in a normal soil. So for us, radon is really a, an explanation that cannot be used. Did the French um, do the same measurements of the air as you did um, when it comes to radon? Actually, in Ramallah, we were the only one to do direct measurement in the tomb. So uh, before opening the tomb, we really insisted in being able to dig a hole in the tomb plate in order to measure the activity of radon in the tomb because we knew that could be a problem. And we were actually happy to see that the level, well, the level was too high to live there. I wouldn't like to live in this tomb, that's sure. But for a soil, it is clearly a, a normal value. So that means we can compare the result of the measurement in Mr. Arafat's case with other results that we have in different tombs or different cadavers that we found in the literature. It, it appears to me that you are suggesting that the, the French study was not as detailed and therefore perhaps slightly sloppy. No, I wouldn't use this word because I, I think the, the measurements they did were really, uh, really so rough for sure. But maybe they, they didn't try to investigate as much as we did for the origin of Raiden. Do you believe that uh, sometime, I don't know when, that uh, we will understand exactly what happened to him? I don't know. For us, I think we did really our best to, to take as much information from the samples we collected. But maybe there will still be a mystery afterward. I cannot say this. Maybe we should try to find other, uh, other sources of information out of the measurements that we did to complement them. Well, thank you very much indeed for coming on this programme. That's Francois Beauchou talking to us from Lausanne.